Hey everybody, today I'm going to unbox the Ashford eSpinner 3, show you how it works and how to set it up. Here's the inside. Yours will look a little neater when you get it. I've already opened mine and used it as you can see. You move away these boxes. This is 100% New Zealand wool. They came with the e-spinner. That's your sample wool that you can practice with, as I did. Now, let's get into the contents. Here is the way your flyer comes packed, which you do want to be very careful with it. That's the main part of your e-spinner. Let's open this up. All right. There she is. It's a beautiful flyer. Very adjustable. Beautiful. Inside here you have your power cord plugs into the wall as you can see and then inside here is your foot pedal which I think is a must if you have an e-spinner it makes it a lot easier to stop and start as you spin this is Ashford's product catalog it has all their products that they currently offer here is your instruction booklet for your eSpinner 3. Be sure to look through this thoroughly before you start assembling your eSpinner or spinning with it. Take the time to pause it if you need to look at any of the directions using my video. Feel free. They're nice detailed instructions. I was very happy it was easy to set up. All right, this is the base for your Lazy Kate. Everything is made out of nice, solid, hard wood. Absolutely beautiful. And then here she is. This is the base of the e spinner. Let me move these bobbins out of the way. All right, that's better. Here are your other two bobbins. It comes with three total. There they are. Here is the sample wool that I spun up to practice with. It was fun. And that's just uh, New Zealand wool. It comes with this little pamphlet also, talking about some of their wools and products. Now in here is your spinning oil and your tensioning knob and the bars you need for your Lazy Kate to hold your bobbins in place and your tensioning bands. All right. I'm going to show you how the Lazy Kate works. It is a tensioned Lazy Kate. That means you can adjust the tension as you ply to make sure that you're not over twisting your plies or under twisting them. Making sure that you're not getting it all tangled up. It's nice and tensioned so it stays on the bobbin as you're plying. As you can see, there's your little tension screw. You screw that part in to the base and then the little spring is attached and you tie it on your nylon cord and it goes into the slots around your bobbins just like this
There we go. It fits right in the slots and keeps it nice and tensioned as you work. Here's your tensioning knob. I'm going to show you how that works. As you can see, you just twist it and the spring tightens or loosens as you need it. Your nylon band should fit snugly right into those grooves on your bobbin. It's so nice to have a lazy cape with this e-spinner. I don't have to use a shoebox anymore. <laughs> All right. Here's a close-up of the screw in action. The spring, I'm sorry, I keep calling it a screw. All right, here's how you put your flyer on. You want to take some of your spinning oil that they include and put a drop of it right on that flat part. That's where it's going to go into the base where your motor is. Slide your bobbin on. Pop right on just like that. Alright, make sure that your nylon tensioning cable is out of the way before you pop it on and you just slide it right in there and then you want to take your nylon band and pull it up and put it into the groove of that bobbin so that you can adjust your tension for your spinning as you can see it goes right to the tension screw there so you can adjust it very easily. I love this about this e-spinner that you can just turn this knob and adjust your tension that easily. The less tension you have the faster and more twist it's going to add. And this is very important. Make sure that it pops in. Push it back and it'll pop in just like that. And then you can rest it on those two pegs right there add a drop of spinning oil and you're good to go. Now we're going to plug it in put your power cable cord into your input slot on the back and then here's your big foot pedal cord if you want to use your foot pedal you don't have to use it I love it though and it goes in on the other side. On the front here the middle knob is your speed control knob, on the right is your on and off switch, and on the left is your Z-twist and your S-twist switch. There I turned it on, it spins like a dream. And with the foot pedal, you can press it and it'll keep your speed in the same spot if you have to stop and pull a nip out or something like that. It is so smooth. And I'm going to show you in another video me spinning on it and how that works and how amazing it is. Now it's in standby mode and it keeps your speed. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give me a like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Rain Fiber Arts. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.